I like it. I like it a lot. So first shot, impressions? <laughs> uh, where was this and why didn't I get it before? <laughs> Trigger's crisp, nice, better than um its competitor. Steel cased. Possibly. I mean, you're not going to use steel case to defend yourself. No. Obviously. Do some more. Run her through. See if we can get this on camera pretty decently. It may have been my hand. Like I said, because if you just catch it just right with those gloves, yeah. Alright, this is the MP Shield 9 from Smith & Wesson. This is a compact, is, you know, my new gun I just picked it up today. So this is not any type of review, this is just showing everyone what the features are and first impressions. There's probably going to be a follow-up to this, but that could be later on. It's been safety checked, nothing in the chamber, no mag. And um, right now, first impressions, I absolutely love it. Very narrow, two uh, kel sizes. Actually, if you've seen or held a kel pretty much comparable to a kel -Tec. Everything to it. The bore axis is a little higher. It's a little thicker, but we're talking about, you know, a thousands. So that's very minimal, which you, as someone carrying it, will, won't really notice it. Comes standard with uh, three-dot sights, which everyone should be familiar with it. It has a really nice crisp pull on it, and it also comes with a reset where, there, there's a reset and there's the full extent. So it does have a really nice reset. It's kind of also the same breakdown as a Glock. You pull the trigger, you pull it back a little bit, drop the slide down, comes apart, everything's kept. Double spring, barrel, everything else like that. Polymer, of course, with the rails. I mean, it's very... You know, it's a polymer gun. Also, another thing I've noticed with this being as low as it is and contoured, I've been finding out that trying to release a mag while holding it in hand, you can't just sweep down and hit the mag release. So you kind of actually, for me, because I got long fingers too, I have to twist my wrist to get my thumb to actually actuate the mag release. It comes with a seven round flush fit, so it matches right up to the bottom. It comes with an eight round extended pinky mag too so those are the two mags you get slide release i've noticed not really a slide release you really gotta push on it to let it go so definitely help yourself by racking the slide a little bit and letting it go um kind of spoiled by sig on that one uh other than that beautiful gun you can't i can't ask for anything better probably could but i don't want to spend that kind of money Maybe later on in life, if I get around to it, I'll do another review after maybe a year or two. And as long as the gun hasn't blown up, you'll know it's good. Because me, I treat them like they're supposed to be.